Hi all, you are watching Simulink tutorial and today we are going to see what basic commands we can use on matrices and what they give as an output in the end. So before starting, what is matrix and why do we need matrix? So it's a rectangular array of numbers or symbols or equations arranged in row and columns. So why do we need matrix to store information in numbers or symbols? So if you have features e extracted for some signal and there are n signals i need to map those n signals to n features so in that case i'll need an array or matrix again uh, if you consider the image in digital image processing each pixel defined in the form of ones and zeros so the entire image is a matrix defining colors in the series of ones and zeros so an image is nothing but the matrix and when we say apply effects on the image the matrix data is processed with some mathematical function so that's what an effect actually is so let's start with basic operations so how do we define matrix so a is equal to 1 1 2 3 then semicolon to start with new row so 4 5 6 again semicolon to start with another row 7 8 9 and enter so this is a three by three matrix so whenever you want to start with a new row add semicolon then if i type min in bracket a let's just see what it gives me so it gives me the minimum value of each column then max of a so this function gives me the maximum value of each column then i in bracket 4 which gives me 1 diagonally and rest of the values as zeros then run this tab so brand 4 enter so it just gives me 4 by 4 matrix of random values okay then once 4 comma 5 enter so it gives me 4 by 5 matrix of ones then zeros of 2 comma 3 so it gives me 2 by 3 matrix of zeros now let's just take one more matrix of ones this b is equal to ones of 2 comma 3 okay so answer is 2 by 3 matrix of zeros and p is 2 by 3 matrix of ones then horse cat in bracket answer comma b So, it combines two matrices that is answer and B. Similarly, you can combine two matrices vertically. Let's just clear this workspace and A is equal to minus 5, 4, 3, semicolon, 1, minus 2 minus 3 enter and absolute of a so it performs the 
absolute function on all the values of matrix then let's just make one more operation 2 plus a so it adds 2 to each value of the matrix then 2 into a it multiplies each value of the matrix by 2 so these are just basic commands so whenever you write any script or function try to use as many functions as possible and use these commands and even if you have to implement other than above mentioned commands use help you will get solution for your problem so that's all for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning